The city of Indianapolis has a new domestic violence program tonight. This is designed to help more survivors flee and rebuild their lives. Tonight, our Logan Gay has more on this program, their approach, and the leader behind it all. Right now, we're standing in Indy's 46218 zip code on the east side of town. It's one of the city's hot spots for domestic violence, but their new program is planning to change that. Danette Smith says the last quarter in 2021, IMPD received 760 domestic violence calls from this east side community. She says this high volume of domestic violence calls was the driving force for the city to launch the new domestic violence prevention program through the Indy Public Safety Foundation. And we're coming with the resources. We want to hear what they have to say um, in regards to it. And, and as we build this program, we want to make sure that it's uh, serving the community as it should. Smith is leading the recently launched program as the director. She's a domestic violence survivor and knows how situations like this can be life or death. But being a survivor, it allows me to put my feet back in their shoes. It allows me to, to meet them right where they are and that's what this program is able to do. She says they're taking a boots on the ground approach and utilizing partnerships with the IMPD and other domestic violence agencies to help survivors get the resources they need 24 hours a day. She says lack of resources is a big factor. Whether that be a poverty area, a lack of resources, food, um, there's so many jobs, so many things that can contribute to it, um, but we just want to tap into what those factors are, try to get them services for it, and then eventually change this community and, and not have them as number one with domestic violence. Now that the program is up and running, they want to let the people who need it most know they hear them and they're coming to help. We can hear those silent cries and know what's going on behind those doors. And for some people, knowing this is enough to give them hope.